Hello there guys, thanks for watching this video and what I'm doing today is showing you this uh, project I've done which involves a Raspberry Pi camera and a PIR sensor and what it does is when there's motion detected on the PIR sensor it triggers the camera to come on and it starts filming automatically uh, when it starts filming it um, alerts you to that by sounding a buzzer and turning on an LED and then when it's finished filming it'll sound the buzzer again to signify it's finished filming and it'll turn off the LED. Uh, a fairly basic project, it's not too difficult and there's barely any code. Um, if you want more information on the, these two individual components or LEDs or buzzers, I've got loads of tutorials on this type of stuff. I'll leave a few links in the description for tutorials on uh, PIR sensors for camera um, and LEDs and buzzers and all that type of stuff and if you need help setting up the Raspberry Pi loading up an operating system stuff like that I'll leave a link in the description for that as well now let's get on with it first of all let's wire up the camera now a camera you can get very cheap online it's not expensive uh, and it, if you have a look at this thing here uh, it's got this on the end it's got a blue side and then some silver lines. If you look on the Raspberry Pi, I'll change my camera. If you look on the Raspberry Pi, uh, this thing here is where the camera is where the camera goes. So I'll just uh, now the blue bit needs to be facing the Ethernet port and the audio jack, and the silver lined bit needs to be facing the power input and also you can see the silver lines there there's silver lines there that side well there is the other side but not as big and it also says camera on the side that the uh, connector ports are right now that the camera's plugged in we've done that part let's have a look at the rest of the wiring um, I will show you this on a diagram afterwards just to clear things up because I'm sure it's a little bit complicated. On the Raspberry Pi GPIO port, uh, this first two are 5 volt and the third one's ground, so wire up your 5 volt and ground to the breadboard here. Then the PIR sensor, um, I've had it going to the breadboard here. Um, if you look on it, you can see it says VCC out and ground. Um, I've done the yellow one as VCC going to here, and then this going to 5 volt on the breadboard. And 5 volt on the breadboard is connected to 5 volt on the Raspberry Pi, so it means that this side is going to be powered. Um, then the middle one is out, so this is the output, so uh, this will go high when it's, there's movement detected. Um, this is the black wire here in the middle connected to a blue wire this blue wire goes to this pin here which is GPIO4 I'll just show you here it's this one here that is the pin that I've got it connected to okay then um, finally on here ground is this blue wire which goes to there and then goes to yellow wire which goes to ground here and the ground there is connected to the third pin here the third pin is ground okay then um, we've now got the LED one of the legs of the LED, the cathode, the shorter leg is going to ground on the breadboard and the longer leg of the LED is going to a 220 ohm resistor which is connected to um, this pin here which is the sixth one down GPIO 18 and then finally the buzzer now one of the legs of the buzzer is connected to ground this brown wire here and then um, the other side of the buzzer is connected to this pin here which is a uh, one two three four five six seven eight ninth one down 
cookie pie of 24. Yeah, GPI of 24. That's the wiring. Um, just to recap, motion sensor and alarm is in this one. And the sixth one down is GPI of 18, which is what the LED is connected to. And GPI of 24 is what the buzzer is connected to. So you'll just have to get that wiring done now. Okay, go ahead and uh, run your Raspberry Pi. And... I'm just show you going. I'm just going to show you now how to just play around with these things here, just a screwdriver, uh, to make sure that you've got the right sensitivity and uh, the right settings. When you've, well, you'll need to run the code first, really, so you can play around with the settings. Um, I've expanded the font to quite a big size so that you'll be able to see it all quite clearly. I'm just going to go through it now. Um, Quite a lot of libraries are needed in this. Um, from GPI of zero, import motion sensor, and from the GPI of zero, import buzzer. These are so that we can use the buzzer and the motion sensor. We also need to import the Pi camera library so we can use the Pi camera. Um, import date time so we can get the date and time for the file name. And we need to import the GPIO library and the time library. If you're not sure what libraries are, go uh, go and do some. Um, just look it up. It'll be there'll be something on Google. Okay. First of all, we need to set the mode to the standard um, the standard way of labelling pins. We need to set the LED pin as 18 and the buzzer pin as 24 and then set them both as outputs because we're going to be sending out voltage to tr turn them on. We're not going to be reading voltage. Um, then we're making a variable for the camera and for the motion sensor. So here we've got a while true loop. Um, we wait until the PIR has detected motion and then we make a variable for the file name and what this does here is it basically just gets the time and date and saves it in the format H264. Uh, we start recording under the file name and then it t triggers the buzzer and triggers the LED. Um, we wait for a second and then um, we set the buzzer as off because we don't want the buzzer running for a long time we just want to quit to tell us it started then we wait for n until there's no motion and we set the LED pin as false so it's going to be turned off and again we need to sound the buzzer just for a second to signify that to signify it's turned off so it's just going to do a little again for one second uh, turn it on wait for a second to turn it off then we stop recording that's all the code that you'll need and I'll put it on the blog so that you can copy and paste it if you feel like it. I'm now going to run the code and test it, but this PIR sensor is incredibly sensitive. So I'm going to put it behind my bootcase so that it doesn't get triggered by me moving and then I'll put my hand behind it and you'll be able to see it working. I have now run the program. It's very difficult to film this and hold the camera so that I'll actually get something decent to show you. And try and trigger this motion sensor so here we go let's try and do this i'm going to put my hand behind here is the motion sensor i'm going to trigger it led turns on uh, buzzer sounds and now this is filming and you're going to see me for a few seconds there and then that triggered to show that it's ended and the led's turned off i'll just do that one more time so that you can see it in action i'll trigger it again LED's on, it's filming. It's turned off because there's no more motion detected. But I'll show you this now. Um, if I keep my hand behind there and keep my hand moving, it doesn't just stop after a specific number of seconds. It carries on until there's no more motion detected. So, you know, it's staying off now and then I'll just leave it a second. It does, wait, it does sometimes take a few seconds to turn off again. And there we go. Let's go and have a look at that footage. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not. 
out and for some reason it's turned off um not quite sure why that happened but there we go i'll just cut the video now find the files and play them okay now what we have to do is try and play them um because they're in such a weird file format it's very you can't just play them using normal things you've got to use something called omx player in the terminal um i save me typing out these long by the way they're the files that save not all of them are from what i just did i've been testing it out showing a few people so it's that's why it's got so many files there these are the ones that we just recorded i'm just going to copy them into the terminal this was to save me typing it all out Okay, there we go. OMX player, and then you just type in the file name. Then it'll play. You will have noticed that that had that played a lot faster, but that's because of a higher frame rate, and you can change that. No problem. No problems there. Let's place that one in. And go. This is the other one we recorded when I put my hand behind the bookshelf. And then finally. The last one. I've been having some trouble playing this one. I'm not quite sure what's happened. Oh, there we go. Now this one's slightly longer because I kept my hand behind the thing, so it. You can see, by the way, that the uh, motion detector is there. And it starts. Oh, I've turned it off now. But uh, just so you can see, I wasn't cheating. The motion sensor is there. Let's just let me just show you one more time. Just so that you know I'm not cheating. Right, it's running now. Put my hand behind there. Starts filming. And then it stops in a second. Thank you for watching this video. Um if you liked it, be sure to leave a like or a comment or subscribe or whatever. Uh, and if you wanted more information on the camera or the PIR sensor and how to um, control them individually, more, a little bit more information on them, I've done individual videos for both of them and I'll leave them in the comments below. And if you want to do Raspberry Pi electronics generally, I've got a series going at the moment, currently on two episodes, but I'm doing another one when I can get around to it, probably tomorrow. So um, check that out as well if you want to start electronics with Raspberry Pi. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Probably with another Raspberry Pi camera video because I'm quite enjoying the Raspberry Pi camera. But also soon, I know this is a very long outro but I just want to say a few things. Raspberry Pi Sense Hat. I got this for my birthday. Um, it was quite cool so I'll do a video on that at some point as well. Okay then, uh, longest outro in the world, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.